A unanimous vote today to help the 19 families affected by the deadly mass shooting in Half Moon Bay last month. KTVU's Jesse Gary tells us that San Mateo County is setting aside money to help them meet their housing needs. The families from the mushroom farm now are the, uh, are the Airbnbs. They're going to be there temporary uh, while we work on finding them a more uh, uh, permanent uh, housing for them. Joaquin Jimenez says the 19 affected families will remain in that temporary housing through the end of March. So I will go ahead and make the motion. Tuesday midday, San Mateo County supervisors voting to spend $750,000 to pay for victims' families' housing and living costs for the rest of the year. But for the longer term, the creation of a task force to investigate farm worker housing conditions. To go out and actually take a look at all of the places where farm workers are living and make sure that they're up to health and safety standards. Third District Supervisor Ray Mueller posting pictures of those conditions on social media. This following January's deadly mass shooting at two mushroom farms in Half Moon Bay. 66-year-old Chin Ling Zhao is charged with seven counts of murder and one count of attempted murder. It's too bad that you have to take a tragedy, you know, for, the, for more people to pay attention. Community stakeholders say helping victims' families is only a piece of the problem relating to farm workers' well-being. More low-income housing is needed in California and across the nation. They've already been talking to state leaders here, uh, Congress too. We need housing now, affordable housing now. That long term is something we really want to get accomplished. It, we're, we're talking in the next few years, not in terms of like a 20 year horizon. Yes, answer President. Yes, motion passes. Unanimous support this day for funding now. Community activists promise continued pressure in the months and years to come to make sure the lost lives were not cut short in vain. Even after the lights, you know, the cameras go out of here, you know, we still got to continue to do our work. The $750,000 that was approved today is only half of what's needed. Supervisor Mueller says he's confident the other seven hundred and fifty dollars will come from philanthropic entities and people who've already pledged support. In Half Moon Bay, Jesse Gary, KTVU Fox 2 News.